turns out genetics works really weird. It really just means, did we get by direct descent a piece of DNA from someone? That's what genetic ancestry is. If we didn't get DNA from someone, then they're not our genetic ancestor. If we did give that to them, or we did get it from them, then they are our genetic ancestor. You guys following me? Now, what is DNA? DNA, I'm not gonna really explain that because I would have to give you like a first, uh, uh, yeah, like a first year biology course right now to explain what, biology, what it is. But let's just say this, it's something we discovered very, very recently. Does anyone know when and how? It was maybe just about 100 years ago and when people uh, were looking at these, like, um, uh, these bandages, uh, there, was a, there was a person looking at these bandages and just was able to isolate DNA from that. Well, there was a ton of bacteria uh, growing in these bandages in World War I. They were able to kind of uh, isolate DNA from that and kind of realize, oh, that's one of the constituents that make up cells, and there was a whole bunch of it. Uh, and there was like protein too, and there was lipids. And, and, and nucleic acids were one of those things, which they called DNA. Now, it wasn't until just about, you know, um, I think it was in the late 50s, you know, with Watson and Crick, where they figured out what the structure was and actually how it worked. And this was a, a major thing to figure out in biology how it is that inheritance happens. Now, there have been geneticists before. Uh, you know, genetics as a discipline existed, you know, for decades and decades before then, but they didn't know actually what the molecule was that was passing genes around. And then we found out, oh, DNA is where genes are. <laughs> that was a surprising thing. Now, the 50s might seem like a long time ago, but it's not really that long time ago. There's probably people in this room that were alive then when that was figured out. That's really, really recently. And what I can tell you for certain is that no one had an idea, any idea what DNA was like 200 years ago. Uh, when the Bible was being written, how many of them had the idea of like Y chromosomes or mitochondrial DNA or DNA or any of that in their head? They didn't have any of that. Now, they might have had a sense of inheritance, but not of DNA. All right, so these are two different ways of thinking about inheritance now, but they're different. Now, this is one of the surprising things we found out. It's something called genetic ghosts. Some of your genealogical ancestors are not your genetic ancestors. Think about that for a moment. There are some ancestors from which you, know, you arise by, by physical descent from that don't give you any DNA. Do you believe me or not? Okay, some people are saying yes, some people are not willing to weigh in on this. <laughs> All right, let's think about this. So here I have a, a diagram, don't worry, it's, it's pretty straightforward to understand. There's you in the center there, and you're fully black because you have all of your DNA, all right? And there's a scale there, you can see you have 100%, that's black, so that, that, that's, that's 100%. Now, the two people um, right above that are your parents. Now, each of us here has one father, one mother, I imagine, biologically at least. And you get about half your DNA from each side. That's approximately half. You, you got on average a little bit more from your mom because she, she gave you an X chromosome and your mitochondria. Um, and if you're a guy, you got a Y chromosome from your dad, which is a little bit smaller. And if you're a woman, you still got, you still got the, the mitochondria from your mom. So your mom gave you a little bit more. You got that? Um, and then you got one more generation, okay? And that's your grandparents. And how many of them are there? There's about, there's about four of them, right? And while you got about half your DNA from your parents, each of your parents, you get about a quarter of your DNA from each of your grandparents. You follow me? Now you go back another generation. That's like your great grandparents. How many of them are there? Eight, right. And so you get about an eighth of your DNA from each of them, right? And we can keep on going. And this is a simulation that I ran that is actually true to what we know of the human genome. It has 23 uh, chromosomes, and it turns out that that every single generation there's around 25 or so uh, recombination events where you split it into different pieces. Um, so that's not actually that much when you think about it. And then at about five generations back, so that's approximately you know, 150 years or so ago, you start to see these, these uh, people that I marked in dark green. Do you see them there? Who are those people? Those are people that with all the shuffling happening, you know, with DNA and all that, they really are your ancestors. Like, you, you, you really did descend from them, but they didn't actually give you any DNA. Isn't that cool? <laughs> <laughs>